Hello everybody, we are back with one of your favourite videos. It is Styling Neutrals and this is the latest in my series. I do one for every season. So here we have a new summer season Styling Neutrals. And the aim of this is to just show you some creativity of how you can wear your neutral shades. Now I'm going to try and stick to all neutrals but maybe some blacks or darker colours will creep in every now and again through accessories but I think predominantly the clothing will be neutrals. Now just as a general rule of thumb when you are styling your neutrals, warmer tone neutrals tend to go with other warmer tone neutrals so things like caramels, tans, creams, maybe like an off-white just those slightly warmer, beigey, sandy kind of tones. And then in general, that tends to go with more goldy types of jewelry. In contrast to that, you have other neutral shades, things like putty, uh, ecru, um, more like a gray beige, top, and they tend to go with more silvery types of jewelry. And that tends to suit people with a slightly pinkier or bluier kind of undertone. And then the other side tends to suit people with quite warm skin tones. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit. That's just a very, very broad and general rule. Doesn't apply to everyone and everything. So I think always with neutrals, hold them up to your face, see what makes you kind of come alive, your eyes pop, suits your skin tone, and then some colours will make your skin look a little bit duller, your eyes not as sparkly, and you'll just be able to instantly tell, either by holding it up to a mirror, or taking a picture of yourself wearing it, and you'll be able to contrast those two things if you're not sure what does suit you. So what I'm going to do is just talk about each look as I'm wearing them, why I've styled it, the usual kind of thing, and I hope you enjoy this style of video. Let me know if you do by giving me a thumbs up and also hitting that subscribe button. Um, it really, really helps me out just to press subscribe. I know it's something that I sometimes forget to do on other people's channels, but I'm really trying to make a conscious effort to subscribe to those people I like and watch regularly as I know it really helps them. So, so it would mean a lot to me if you could do that. So let's get on with the outfit. I don't think you can beat a crisp white dress in the summer months. This one is from Cezanne. It's the perfect holiday dress. It also comes with a lining underneath, so it's definitely not see-through. I paired it here with these barred sandals. These are a great pair to style with a white dress because I think they just dress it up a little bit and they're the perfect holiday piece. I popped my Bottega bag with it and my hoop earrings from my collection with North School Woman. This next outfit I wore in a recent What I Wore in a Week video and I just love everything about these tones. As I was talking about the different tones and colours that go together, these are both quite a sagey, warm kind of beige. This skirt is from Pretty Lavish. The top is from Marcella London and then I'm wearing these really comfortable Russell and Bromley knotty sandals and my Demelier bag just to tie in with the same colour as the sandals. White shorts are such an easy way to freshen up a summer look and for the evening I would pair this with a satin top. This one is from Zara. The other year it's got these cute little shoulder pads in it and I think focusing on textures like this is a really easy way to dress up your neutrals. I've just popped them with my Aloha sandals and Demelier bag to give it a little elevated feel but I think equally on holiday you could wear this with some flats. For my next look, I'm showing how you can wear these Karen Millen shorts in a more daytime kind of way. I've got my Sana New York camel blazer on here with a vest top, just again from Karen Millen. And then I've paired it with some loafers to give it, again, a more dressed down daytime kind of feel. What I've done here is pair some warm beigey tones together and it gives it such a nice contrast with the white.
This is my new favourite skirt and I've just done a reel on this over on Instagram. If you don't follow me on there, it's at Lydia Jane Tomlinson. I did five ways to style this skirt and I love pairing it with other neutrals, just like this tank top here. And then to dress it down, I've popped my basket bag with it. This is such an easy way to dress down an outfit and then finished it off with my canvas sandals from Mango last year and it makes such an easy but chic daytime look. Another neutral way to wear this skirt is with a long sleeve t-shirt, again quite a nice daytime easy casual look. This long t-shirt is from Arquette and then I've paired it with my knotty sandals again and Demelier bag. For my next outfit I have gone for white on white, these are my H&M Bermuda shorts paired with my new mango blouse and because the colours are quite stark and bright together I've broken it up with this brown belt, this is an old Zara one and then to make it all work I've combined the brown and tan shades in together with the rest of the look. A neutral pair of cargo trousers can be really useful for those day-to-day -day occasions like the school run and I've partnered it here with this Uniqlo linen shirt. Again, just nice and casual but the fact that it's a shirt makes it feel a bit more formal. I then paired it with my Grenson chunky sandals to keep it dressed down and this bag from Paul M. Paris to tie in with the sandals. As I mentioned, I was going to put a little bit of black in here just for the accessories. It breaks up an outfit really easily and sometimes if you've got a black pair of shoes or a belt, which most of us have, it's really easy to combine that with a neutral outfit. I'm wearing these Camel Sana New York shorts, again with the linen shirt and then all of these black accessories. I love an all white look for the evening and I think if you're looking for a hen do outfit or something like that and you are the bride, I think this one would work perfectly. I've got here these wide, pretty lavish trousers on with my knit top from Ont, O-N-T-E, and it just makes a really simple but chic going out outfit. And I wanted to show how you could actually do this exact outfit for a bit more of a daytime occasion. I've popped it here with some tan accessories, this pollen bag and my Zara sandals. And I think tan is a really great neutral if you want to look a little bit more dressed down and natural. So as I spoke about in the intro, here are some more slightly putty, grey, cooler tones of neutral. These shorts and this bag pair really nicely together and I realised that the Gucci loafers are also a really similar tone. And you can see from the rail how different these tones are to the warmer sandy colours on there and how they could probably contrast against each other and not work. So I've paired it with just this very pale white shade. This next look is definitely an evening holiday outfit. I've got this top on here by Vita Grace. It's such a pretty, easy to throw on with something casual blouse. And I've put it with this satin skirt from Weekend and Beyond and just paired it with some light beige accessories like these mango sandals and my Bottega bag. You could also do this skirt for a slightly cooler climate and pop it with a knit and then just some ballet flats like I've done here. This knit is old from Zara and my shoes are from Amazon. And again, going for some slightly cooler neutrals. This blazer from Weekend and Beyond is quite a cool beige, I would say. And then I paired it here with my H&M jeans and Gucci loafers. Mm -hmm. 
And then I just wanted to show that you could do this outfit in a more dressed up way. And I've picked up on the slight green undertones in these pieces and paired it with my Chloe bag and Vela sunglasses. I love pairing this sauna New York dress with other neutral accessories. I've got the Russell and Bromley sandals on and they go so nicely with this Demelier bag. If you're wearing a light colored dress, I think it's always nice to pair it with light colored accessories as well. It just gives it a really easy summer feel. for watching I know the styling neutrals videos always go down so well I've been doing them for several years pretty much since the beginning of my channel so if you did like it let me know by giving it a thumbs up also leaving me a comment would be very much appreciated so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye